at Goodwill. You know, Crystal, the mouse was working. It just didn't have the little point. So I couldn't, I couldn't control where I was clicking. So I, I don't know. We changed, we changed the uh, batteries and it's a, uh, it's this little bugger here. Um, so I don't, I don't know why I couldn't control it and I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll figure it out after I'm done here. But, um, this is what I wanted to share with you. So I was at, um, Goodwill and I like making little small books during the holidays. And I think I've shared with you the little books that I've made before where they just, you know, they kind of just flip through, but I like them to be a little bit sturdy and sometimes our paper isn't sturdy. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have Trivial Pursuit. So I got these at Goodwill and you get two full boxes for, for like $3. And then I use these as the base. So I know that some of us use thicker cardstock. Um, sometimes you can get double-sided cardstock. Um, but I like these because number one, they're all the same size. So when I make my little books, they're, they're all the same size. They're perfectly cut. And then secondly, it gives some stability. It gives some stability to my books. So, um, like I said, I wasn't really organized today. Um, but my idea is I'm going to make a little uh, Christmas Carol mini book. And I've already started putting together my, um, my images. Um, but that's, that's my idea. So I, and I have two boxes of these. So if I want to make little mini ATCs, I already have a little box to hold them in. Um, and then I can just create little ATCs and put them in here. And then when I want to add them to books and whatnot, I can do that as well. So, um, that's what we're going to do today is we're going to play, <laughs> we're not going to play trivia, but we're going to play with these cards and make some ATCs. Hopefully that's okay. So I'm a little frustrated with my whole mouse problem here. Um, but let me go ahead and see if we can recover. So over, over Christmas holiday, I love making little, little mini books. In fact, I'm working on one. I don't know if you guys saw um, my latest kit called Pink Pastel Christmas. So I've been playing a little bit. It's got some really cute pink Christmas images and, and I'm making, I'm making some more books for the shop. So this is what I've been playing with. Um, but over the holidays, I always like to, um, create little items for the shop, of course. Now, the way that I like to do these um, is you can, um, number one, you can do glue, but you can also do double-sided tape, which is great. And then I have this double-sided tape that I craft with. It's it's a big one, you guys. Um, but I like it because I get it on Amazon. And then I use it for crafting, of course. So let me go ahead and just cut this. Ordinarily, I don't cut it right up to the edge because then my scissors get all gummy but like i said today i'm very discombobulated all right so and then let's just cut this this is a little bit bigger than my game cards all right which is good right Now, there's a lot of things that you can use to make your ATCs a little bit more sturdy. Of course, one of them is heavy cardstock. But I find when you get the heavy cardstock, that a lot of times that is the double-sided. And, and I hate to waste 
I hate to waste the double sided because usually both sides are really pretty. So using these old game cards is a way to uh, not have to use your pretty, your pretty paper. All right, so that can go right over that. And then I can just trim it down. And you can do this with all sorts of games. You could do this with flashcards to create, you know, the base of your little mini books. Um, of course, you know, any of your old cardboards around the house. Sometimes the cardboard, like in cereal boxes, is a, is a little bit too thick, um, especially for these little mini books. And that's why I like using these game pieces. And I like that you get so many too. I mean, I've got a whole box that I can create ATCs now, which is, which is wonderful. All right, and then I can get my Distress Ink. And you see how, I mean, that's really sturdy. I like that. And I'm also going to put paper on the other side, um, which will make it even sturdier. And then I'll show you how I put these little books together. All right, so there's, so there's the front. So this is just going to be a mini book, you guys. Isn't that cute? And then for the inside, and, and these are perfect ATC size cards. These are uh, three and a half by two and a half. And I can't remember exactly what the size is of an ATC, but I think that's about right, about right, right? Three and a half by two and a half. Okay, and then for the middle portion, like I said, I wasn't quite ready when I turned on the camera, but I did have a chance to print out some of these. Um, and then we'll play with some of our remnant rubs and paper dolls because I just kind of want to show you what I'm doing for this little mini book. And then this will be the inside cover, right? And you can use glue. I mean, you don't have if you don't have the double-sided tape like I do, or if it's just kind of a pain in the butt, you can definitely use your glue or your double-sided strips, right? This is going to be a cute little book, though, I think. Um, all right. All right, and then I'm just going to trim this up. And I know that, I mean, some of you might be thinking, why, you know, why spend $3 at Goodwill to buy these little cards when you can just trim them yourselves, right? You can cut your own cards. Well, number one, I'm lazy. I've got all these cards already cut up ATC size that all I got to do is start working and I don't have to create my own ATCs. You can buy pre-cut ATCs, right? But I don't think you can get hundreds of cards I don't think you can get hundreds of cards when you buy the ATCs and you can't even tell this is uh, a Trivial Pursuit game card 
right? Lords, you didn't miss much on the beginning. I was having technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, then that reminds me. So for my class, you guys, there's only one seat left. If you want to join the, uh, the candy uh, shop Christmas shelf, whatever I'm calling it, there's only one seat left. Um, so if you want to be part of that, there's only, and, and I had to limit it because I have to, I have to put the kit together. So I'm still waiting for everything to come in. I just got, I just got the limited clipboards and now I'm waiting for the, uh, the, uh, chipboards. So, um, I'm going to be putting the class kit together as soon as everything comes in, but there's only one seat left. All right. So there's the front of my book, you guys. So it's going to be this little book that you're going to be able to open up and it's going to have the theme of, of the Christmas Carol, but isn't that a cute idea? So, um, and then when I put it together, you can either stitch it. Um, I'm actually going to use, um, uh, binding tape to put it together. So let me, let me see if I can do one more and then I'll show you how that works. But this is even just a little cute ATC card. Look at that, how cute that is. All right, so let's do mincemeat next. Oh, there we go. Just adding my glue. I probably should have trimmed that down, right? Let's see if I can, let's see how good I am here. So I'm just trimming this down now. Uh -oh. Well, that didn't work. I trimmed it too far, but you know what? This is wet. And even if it wasn't wet, I don't feel guilty throwing it away because I only paid $3 for the whole box. So, I can mess up all I want. Let's try this again. I love making smalls too. They're so, they're so cute and small. <laughs> all right, let's try this again, you guys. I'm not on my A game today, you guys. I'm kind of on my C game. That's what happens when you get all messed up, right? You get all flustered and things don't go your way. You guys can just hang out with me. I don't know if I'm going to offer a lot today. That's all right, right? I can't be on my A-game every day. All right, so we're going to ink this up. They even cut crooked. Let's see if I can straighten this out. 
See, the cards even help me cut straight. adding all right and this is just for demo purposes because I need to when I'm making these little books I pay a little bit more attention and I'm just kind of playing right now all right so I want to show you how I'm gonna put these together I don't even know how I'm gonna do this yet because ordinarily I would put little, I might actually put a binder. Uh, maybe I'll put like a little, a little book bind. I don't know yet, but anyway, so that's, that's my idea. I don't think I'm going to actually bind it because I need to put a little bit more thought into that. But isn't that a cute idea? So I'll have like several pages um, and then it'll be a little book. Um, but you can also turn these into ATCs as well. Um, so hi, Melody. I'm a little off my game today, you guys. So you're not missing much. So this is just more of a crafty hangout and watch Monica get all discombobulated. All right, so this is paper I've had. I don't even remember where I got it. I don't even know who it's from. Who is this from? This is from, oh, look it. I got this $1.99 ephemera paper. Where did I get this? I got this at, I don't even know where I got it. But this is from Spellbinders. It's really old. But it's got all that vintagey goodness that I like <clears throat> and I'm going to cover some of these cards here and make little ATCs using my paper dolls and then when I can think about that book a little bit farther I am going to make a little Dickens book but I need to think about it a little bit more how I'm going to do it So for now, I'm just going to cover some of these cards and we're going to make some little Christmas ATCs. All right. So sometimes, you guys, it's just a crafty hangout. When I'm just experimenting a little bit. This is thinner paper. This is uh, the paper that actually works really well on these cards because it doesn't make it too extra thick. All right, so that's cute. What else do I got going on here? I've really been making an effort to, uh, oh, that'd be cute, to um, use my crafty stash. Let's see. Let's see if 
can figure this out here. Trying to get those uh, words in. Okay. And then what I think I'm going to also do is I'm going to decorate this box up since this is going to hold my ATCs. So I'll decorate this up as well. And then I can use my paper dolls. My remnant rubs around here somewhere. Gosh, I am just out of sorts today, you guys. Perhaps I shouldn't have even turned on the camera today. What do you think? There they are. All right. Having a heck of a time, y'all. Okay, and then I got my little... I got the Christmas paper dolls, but I think I'm going to try to use some of my really small ones. I mean, these guys are perfect, right? For the... Look how small these are. Okay, you know, I have to bring out my paper dolls, right? All right. Oh, well, thanks, Cordelia. Sometimes, like I said, I'm not on my A game. Apparently, today's one of those days. But we're, we're still going to craft on. We will craft on. So should I do, I kind of like that brown in the background. Okay. So did you guys catch my first video of my 12 weeks of Christmas? Um, I'm doing something new this year. So um, every every week i'm doing 12 weeks but as we get closer to christmas i might do two videos two videos a week um if i can get them taped ahead of time i know i could at least tape one video a week but if i can get a couple taped a week then once we get closer to christmas i'll release videos um a little bit closer together um but uh so yeah i'm doing that that weekly advent calendar um so after each video you'll have like a link to go open up the next present and you'll have a giveaway so that's what i'm doing this year which i think is kind of fun right um but yeah i had my I had my first i had my first video on friday um 
and hopefully you guys check that out. So if you haven't, be sure to go check out Be sure to go check out uh, my channel. Um, I guess you're on my channel, right? Be sure to go check out my videos because I started my my 12 weeks of Christmas. Um, and the first video is up. And it's a cute one. And I've already got a couple, I've already got a couple uh, taped. I just need to do my voiceover. Um, and the next couple are really cute as well. Yeah, um, so I'm so trying to come up with new ideas. Um, but I, uh, the next two that I taped are really good as well. I'm really happy with them and how they turned out. Um, so hopefully I can continue to be, hopefully I can continue to be creative for y'all. Alright, so let's put this here. I think it'll look good and for no other reason and these are the new Christmas Revenant rubs from Tim Holtz I was so glad that it came out with a new set for Christmas I might have to go out and buy me some more because I like them. These are the, uh, they have like the postal theme, y'all. Um, and, and I like that theme. I think it's fun. Okay, so that's kind of cute, right? See if I can put some color into this. <clears throat> Maybe a little Santa or something. I don't know. That might be kind of cute. Something like that, maybe. Let's see what else do I have in here. Maybe something like that. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's cute. That's from one of my digital sets. Maybe I'll put that. big old hand <laughs> I don't know <laughs> oh my lord I'm losing my mind today what else do I have <clears throat> Maybe I should just stick with the black and white. I got these here. Twenty five cents for Christmas. All right. 
So not a lot of chatter today. What did everybody do this weekend? Anything exciting? I'm going to have a, a busy week at work, unfortunately. So not a lot of play for Monica this week. Maybe something like that. But uh, hopefully after this week it'll slow down. We are planning a, uh, another Jeep trip up to Moab, um, which should be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to that. Weather well, should be really, really nice up there. All right, so we'll do something like that, I think. Uh, and then maybe we'll put something right here. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Some of these are, I have these stamps actually, I should get them out. Um, I think these types of uh, remnant rubs were released before because they look kind of familiar. And I do have the Christmas stamps. Some of these are from the Christmas stamps so that I could easily get out my Christmas stamps and stamp with black and white. The Pink Fresh card class. Um, well, that sounds like fun. Was it like a holiday class or what was it? Um, sounds like a lot of fun. What did you guys make? Chris, uh, cards? Was it Christmas cards or what was it that y'all made? I saw um, where Paula Cheney, who of course works with Tim Holtz, did a class out in California. And I need that there's already a waiting list for next year, which really stinks. Because um, I would love to go to one of her classes. <clears throat> Holiday cards. Fun. So, I think that'll work. Actually, let me uh, put some brown around this. Kind of cute, huh? I think I need something right here that maybe like a little stamp or something. <clears throat> Let's see. Something that can go sideways, right? Oh, maybe a little Christmas tree. That would be cute. <clears throat> I need to get out. Now that I know I have these uh, Christmas stamps, I think I'm going to get them out and make more of these ATCs because the bad thing about the remnant rubs is once you use them, they're gone, which kind of stinks. But I, like I said, I do have the stamp set. You just got to be a little bit more careful when you're stamping. But that's why I have my Misty. All right. So, yeah. That's cute. What do you guys think of that? Okay. 
And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make, you know, whenever I just feel like sitting down to create, I can just make my little ATC cards and then they fit right in here. And then at some point, maybe I'll have a whole, a whole box of these ATCs. And they're great little starters for your cards. Um, I don't know. I just think they're really cute. Um, you can use them as tags as well. Um, but yeah, so I got my first one. Should we make another one? You guys, should we make another one, you guys? So this one, let's, uh, I think for the second one, I'm going to go ahead and I've already got this. So rather than do the Revenant rubs, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do this from my background. And I have an idea for these little cards. Let me show you. asking if you can use them in your mini journals that are made sure why not so this is one of the little journals that I make and I always like to put pockets but see it would fit right into your little mini journal absolutely fun all right so And if you, if you keep the back part, you know, blank, you can write little notes on them too. They're just cute little inserts. Um, and like I said, they can also be card starters as well. Yeah, Melody, I saw that you bought the second book. Um, so I'm glad you like it. I'm I'm working on, I don't know if you were here when I shared, I'm working on some, some Christmas books right now. Um, so this is my new kit, Pink Pastel Christmas. Um, that's one of the pages. So I'm making a little Christmas book. I was just working on it this morning. But, but I want to get, I want to get, several different books in there um, for Christmas. All right. All right, so let's see. Oh, so this is what I was going to show you. So I have these vintage cards that I sell. Um, and this, so this is what I was thinking about doing. So making like a little, making like a little booklet like this, and then you can put your own ATCs in here, right? So I've got a, I've got to copy this design, but wouldn't that be cute to make like a little, a little, uh, you know, a little vintage one, and then you can have a little cop. And then you can have ATCs that you could give away. But isn't that a cute idea? So I'm going to I'm gonna come up with that design. i got to figure it out. Um, but aren't these fabulous? Look at these. They're a lot of fun. So I, got, I have a whole box of these. I scored them. Um, 
last year. But yeah, so that was my idea for some of these little cards because I think, I mean, it's going to fit perfectly. So all I have to do is just come up with the little box. And then if you wanted to give away little ATC cards to your crafty friends, you could. I would love to get a box of ATC cards. I don't know about the rest of you, but I would. All right, let's see. That'd be kind of fun, I think. Kind of a fun design, huh? Yeah, I, that's exactly right, Jim. I'm going to use that as a as a template. That little booklet as a template to make to make my own. And then I'm going to put ATC cards in there. I have a feeling that might be something we see in my shop in the future. So many ideas, so little time to execute. All right, so there's the back. See, and you can't even tell it was a uh, Trivial Pursuit card. <laughs> and it's got it's got good structures it's you know it's gonna hold up all right so there's my background I don't even have to add any remnant rubs or anything those are my paper dolls let's see here it's cute <laughs> Christmas cute they would fit right there. Not even much that I have to do. All right, so put these little guys right there. Look how cute they are. Look how cute. I love it. And then if I want to add to it, I can. Let's see, what could I add? Hmm. Let's see, maybe a little words. Do I have a helper? <sighs> helper number one and helper number two. No, you know, I, and you know, my, my husband says I spend too much time in this, uh, in my studio, and I do, but, um, you know, I keep it, I keep it fun, um, and if I can't get it done, that's okay, you know, I, um, I mean, I have all these ideas but I can't I can't execute everything um, I had promised the class right <laughs> and and I got the class scheduled finally I had to you know I had to build my promo but once I came up with the idea for my for my class you guys know what class I'm talking about right So this is this is the class that I'm going to be giving December 3rd I think is when it is and I only got one seat left but once I came up with my idea um, and I put it together now it's just a matter of um, putting my kit together and I've already started putting it together I'm waiting for a couple more items to add to the kit and then they're gonna go out but it should be a lot of fun. 
Um, so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be able to do, oh, I like that. I'm hoping to be able to do a, uh, a class a quarter. So maybe for a year. Um, and maybe try to plan ahead. My Christmas class was put together last minute. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Let's see, where should that go? Ah, right there. Does it really even matter, Monica? Probably not. Hello, Rainbow Obsidian. All right. So see, this was easy, really pretty easy to put together, right? I mean, it already had the background with the little, uh, with the pre-decorated paper. So if you don't have, if you don't have, I lost my, I lost mine. If you don't have, you know, the remnant rubs or if you don't have a lot of items to create backings, um, then you can always use pre-printed, pre-printed backgrounds to make cute little cards. So now I have, I'm so excited, look at, now I have like two little, two little cards to put in here. Huh. Now I'm excited about decorating this, no, about, uh, blah. Now, maybe we should do that, what time is it? Okay, so I've been going for an hour, but now I'm kind of excited to decorate my little box. I wonder if we should do that. Do you think we have time to do that? Aren't those cute? Okay, so should we make a couple more ATCs or should we decorate the box? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, the, they're the perfect size and they, they give it good structure. And I have a little case to hold them too now. I'm kind of excited about my idea. I kind of want to decorate it. Should we decorate it? So, of course, if I decorate, I have to use my Tim Holtz paper. Decorate the box. Yeah, that's what I think, too. All right, y'all. So, we'll do that, and then when we finish decorating the box, and that'll be the end. Um, but So, that was that was my idea. So, go to your, go to your local Goodwill stores. Find your Trivia Pursuit boxes for $3. And I got two of these. So... I can make as many ATCs as I want. Um, and then you can make your little ATC cards and they have a little case that already holds them. So you guys might be seeing ATCs in my future. I think they're so adorable. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's decorate the box. And then we'll call it a day. Because it was a rough start, y'all. Okay. Let's push that aside. See, I don't clean. I just I just move aside. Uh, so, I love that. I love that. Let's see. We're going to go with a, a gray tone-ish. <laughs> We're not going to use that one, but I love that. Okay, is there anything I don't love? All right, let's start with let's start with these. So, and look at that—it almost it almost fits perfectly, y'all. 
right, so the first thing we're going to do is smooth this out. So if it has anything, just use that scrubber. And then I'm getting my Distress ink on the edges. I might have to decorate the inside too, but we'll, we'll keep that for another day. That one's pretty smooth. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then see this, this is going to fit perfectly. Look at that. Is there a lid for the card? Yes. Yes, there is, but I probably will keep them open and then I'll just have two. I don't feel the need to cover up my beautiful cards. So I'll probably cover this one too. We'll see. All right, and then let's figure this out. Oh, that's going to fit perfectly. Look at that. Uh, should we try to be exact? It's probably a good idea, huh? Trying to measure this up, I'm trying to eyeball it. Mm. All right. I love it. All right, so it needs to be a little bit more, just a smidge smaller. All right, so that's, oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. And then, let's see. Just go off of this right here as my template, right? Perfect. Okay, and then do I have enough? Oh yeah, those would be for the sides maybe, or maybe we'll put the numbers. We'll see. All right, so these will be the two sides. And let's uh, let's add some walnut stain before we add it. And of course, I would recommend liquid adhesive because it moves. Okay. 
And if you wanted to, you could put, you know, if you didn't want to put the ink on the side, you could add washi tape. I mean, that would be fine, but I kind of like not having the washi tape at the end. Okay, so what do you guys think? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right, let's do the other side. So I think I'll go back and I'll edit the video so it doesn't have me fumbling in the beginning. I really wanted to share with you my new Patreon program. Um, I can talk about it, I guess. So um, I have the, the fan level, which is going to be $3 a month, and then I have the crafters level which is five dollars a month um, and it's going to give you uh, on your birthday you'll get a birthday card every month every year for me on your birthday and then I decided anybody that signs up for my patreon between now and Christmas will get a Christmas card for me so that in itself is probably worth five dollars right <laughs> But most of all, it supports it supports my channel, you guys. That's the main thing. But of course, I want to give you items. Um, you're gonna have access to free tutorials. Um, so I wasn't able to show you because my my mouse wasn't working. Um, but check it out. If you go to if you go to my website under under membership, if you click on membership, you'll be able to see everything that you get. To be a Patreon um, on my channel. Um, you're going to get free classes. You're going to get, uh, if you're a crafty member, you're going to get a free kit of the month along with a video to work on the kit with me. Um, you're going to get access to my YouTube channels ahead of time. You're going to get behind the scene photos of me so right now you probably would get a picture of my messy desk <laughs> just it's just a way for you guys to uh to support me and support my channel i'm going to be um more of a creative next year um and i want you guys to follow me in that journey but in order to be more of a creative i need to try to supplement not working in the shop so much so I'd appreciate it if you guys check it out. Um, go to my website. Um, if you click on membership, it'll tell you the levels. Um, and then um, once you join, um, if you are the crafty member, you can go to the classes tab and you can click on it. There already is a video out there for you, a class. So you're going to get access to some free classes as well. Um, and then as, as it continues to grow, I'll have private, you know, private Zoom classes, uh, zap, cr private crafty Zooms with you guys, but I got to get it going first. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you, but guys, check it out if you would. And if you do, like I said, if you do uh, join my Patreon membership between now and Christmas, you guys are going to get a Christmas card. All right. So, oh, I have an idea. It always comes with, starts with, I have an idea, right? So, yeah, the paper kit is um, backdrops, and I think it's the Halloween one. Uh, volume 3 is what it is. Volume 3. All right, so I have these old catalog cards that I th think might fit. Oh, shoot, maybe not. Oh, bummer. That little hole right there is making it not work. All right, that's okay. Sometimes my ideas don't always come to fruition. 
so let's see. My mind always is leaving me. Okay, so let me see. What am I going to do on the side? I'm not going to decorate the bottom, I don't think. I don't think there's a point. Use it. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't like the little hole there. I guess I could maybe cover it, right, with ephemera or something. I don't know. Let me think about it. See what else I got here. Just stain it. Yeah, I, I could do that, I guess. Um, maybe I'll just use this though. All right, so. I like that little key right there. That's cute. All right. And I think I'll actually be able to get both sides. Yeah. Look at that. if we can figure out how much we have to cut off. Uh, that looks about right. Okay. All right. So yeah, so that's what I've been working on over at the website. Um, hopefully you guys will check it out. I, I think that the Patreon is pretty reasonable, um, but, and, and if you can't join it, that's cool. We're still going to do our Sunday, Sunday afternoon crafting, but if you do join, you'll get just a little extra. That's better. So let me trim this just a bit. It's one of those crafting by the seat of my pants days. That's all right though, right? Let's see. Uh, oh, bummer. I'm gonna have to cut that. Oh well, that's all right. That's okay. And then maybe just. Just a little bit more. Just a eensy weensy bit more. If you like my exact measurements, an eensy weensy bit more. All right. Okay, so. Get this glued down. I think this turned out to be a fabulous idea. If I do say so myself. Every once in a while I come up with great ideas. All right. So. 
I am loving it. When you click select three, nothing happens. Really? Boo. Huh, that's interesting. Well, I would say come back later <laughs> because it was supposed to It was supposed to give you an option for your reoccurring payments. So yeah, so go back and check it out after the live when I've had a chance to go figure out what's going on. Um, Yeah, the box is turning out pretty cute. I actually, I'm, I'm really liking it. There. What do you guys think? I can't even tell it was a Trivial Pursuit box, right? And now I can put all these little cards back in. Soon to be decorated ATC cards. Hopefully. And it's a perfect little box. was a born old box I know right fun 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 amazing what a little paper can do for you right all right nice So I will probably go over it with some collage medium just to make sure everything is sticking. But yeah, so that was that was why I was running late and that's probably why I'm so discombobulated because of course I hadn't been to Goodwill in a while. And I think, yeah, exactly, Rainbow, um, but that's why I like going to Goodwill because I always come up with ideas and now I can, I can create these cute little ATC cards. and have them. All right. So that's all I have today, guys. So, so here's the deal. Um, for anybody that becomes a Patreon for me, um, between for this, for this video, um, like I said, you are going to get a Christmas card, but I will also send you out one of these cute little ATC cards as well. So, um, go ahead, check it out over on my website. 
they had the board, but this is one of those bonus, this is one of the bonus, uh, the bonus um, add-ons, so it didn't come with the board. Um, it came, this is what it came in, like this. See, 349 is what I paid for it. So um, it was just the uh, added addition. Um, but now I have little boxes, and, and if I wanted to cover it, let's see. It still covers, you guys. Look at it. So if I wanted to decorate this up, I could still decorate this up. And maybe I will. I don't know yet. You know, we'll see. Um, but if I want to keep them loose, I can do that as well. Um, so that's it y'all um i appreciate you hanging in with me even though i had even though i had some uh, technical difficulties in the beginning i've got to go figure out what's wrong with my mouse um, but check out check out the website see what i have for my subscriptions because that is my plan for next year i am going to grow my membership um and try to grow my community um, and give back to those that support me um, like you guys do. Um, so it'll be, it'll be fun, I think. All right, so I'm going to continue playing. I think I'm going to make a few more of these because I think they're fun. And like I said, anybody that signs up for my Patreon, um, I'll, I'll get you one of these cute little ATC cards out. It'd be cute. It'd be cute. All right, you guys. That's all I have. Um, I will see you again next week in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to have to skip our Sunday because I'm going to be um, busy. But I will schedule and let you guys know that. Also, with the time changing, I think I may be changing us to 2 o'clock. But, but in a couple weeks. So um, kind of keep that in mind. And I'll make sure I have... I'll make sure <laughs> I'll make sure that I let you know if I do decide to um, change it to two o'clock versus three o'clock with the time change. But that's it. That's all I have. So I'm really happy with my little box. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to create these little ATC cards. And now I have a nice little box to hold them in. All right, everybody. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. And again, I always appreciate you supporting my channel and I will see you again next time. Bye. Now I got to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs>